tucked away in a small, icy room, one of New Zealand's most famous visitors of late spent two months fattening up after he was found stranded on a beach thousands of kilometers from home. There reaches a point in any wild animal's kind of rehabilitation um, pathway where their demeanor changes enough that they, they kind of tell you that they're ready to go and he's, he's doing that to us now. He's ready to go. He's, I think he's um, going to be pretty excited when we put him back in the ocean. The Wellington Zoo Hospital, savior to many a wounded animal, provided two months of extensive care and medical treatment for the emperor penguin from Antarctica, while New Zealand and the world followed every nail-biting step. Despite criticism over reports of almost $100,000 being spent to save just one bird, it was welcome publicity in a country working hard to protect native penguin populations that are in decline, like the Little Blues. I don't think anyone really expected the level of interest that Happy Feet generated and um, he obviously struck a chord within people's imagination and so he's not only done good for his own species but also some of his smaller cousins. In this custom-made pen, Happy Feet is hitching a ride on a research vessel that will take him to sub-Antarctic waters that are within the normal feeding range for juveniles of his age. And he'll hopefully bump into some penguins that he recognizes, fingers crossed. But you know, otherwise he'll just go and probably establish himself in another colony. We're pretty hopeful. He just needs to deal with being an emperor penguin out in the wild and, you know, survive the predators. Dr. Argila will be aboard and plans to release him herself. But it's not goodbye forever. He'll be fitted with a donated tracking device that will show his whereabouts on the Wellington Zoo's website so scientists and fans can track what will hopefully be a happy ending.